Hi guys, my name is Girl Jones Girl and welcome to episode 7 of episode Mean Girls Senior Year. Last episode, unfortunately we lost the election. We kind of knew that we were going to lose the election to Regina, but let's go ahead and have a little look at what happened in episode 7. Here we go, North Shore High School. Ooh. Oh, when she's angry, she is keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when she went to school, and though she be but little, she is fierce. What? Oh, I was thinking the same, what's going on? Are we in the middle of class? I think we are, aren't we? Oh, drama class, yeah. Well done, Miss Jemsical. That was inspired. Inspired by Regina. Bell rings. Remember, the Elizabethan Art Exhibit opens the last Saturday next month. I need a three-page critical review the following Monday, so be sure to get your tickets. But Miss Yang, that's the weekend. And? Uh, some people have a social life. We all have social lives. Well, okay, technically not really. <laughs> Playing backgammon with your mum doesn't count. Oh, she's mean. Miss Yang, I'm drowning in presidential duties. Um, dis Regina or support her? Oh, I mean, we sh let's support her, let's be nice. If you need help with anything, I'll be happy to unburden you. Um, that wasn't an invitation for you to play Miss Perfect. Miss George, okay. What if I cut your workload in half? Would that help you out? Why should she get her workload cut in half? She wanted to be president. So much. Perfect. You'll be working in pairs. Ugh, fine. I get Bernice. Oh, I thought she meant just her workload in half. She meant the whole kind of class. Okay, that's all right. You know my name? <laughs> oh. No, no, I'll be pairing you up. You know what's going to happen, don't you? We're going to end up together. I know it's a month out, but please don't wait till the last minute to get your tickets. And for those of you taking the SATs this week, good luck. Now, get out of my classroom. Ooh, where are we here? I mean, wading pool shallow. Why would Mika even say something like that? He's just trying to push your buttons. Well, it's working. I don't get it. I don't remember what happened between them. One minute he's nice, next minute he's a jerk, he's nice, he's a... I think Mika's been nothing but really quite nice to her. Mika is too obnoxious as Greenoid is too... so over it. Sorry, I know we're supposed to be studying for the SATs. Whatever, I hate the vocab portion. And why doesn't he ever mention his girlfriend? Why don't you ask him? I can't do that. Asking would be the same thing as telling him I'm into him. And if he does have a girlfriend... Then it'd be humiliating. And furthermore, no, I mean, why don't you just ask him? He's literally right there. <laughs> Here he comes. He's always wearing the same stuff, isn't he? He's always in that black, all in black and that green hat. Hey, Mika. I was just heading to the restroom. Subtle. <laughs> Katie. Hello, you here solo? Just picking up takeout for my family. So, am I actually witnessing Greener Gemsicle not studying? Sorry to shatter your fantasy, but that's actually what we were doing. Pizza fueled study sesh. I like your style. What do you order? Oh, meat lovers, veggie delight, or plain cheese. Gotta go with a veggie delight. Veggie delight, so I can pretend pizza is a vegetable. That is kind of what I do. It isn't. <laughs> so, thanks for the text last night. I also felt bad. I didn't mean to insult you by calling theatre just a hobby. You're really good. Thanks. I know I can come off a little unfiltered sometimes. Tell me about it. <laughs> but so can you. You bring out the best in me. I like to think so. By the way, you're reading in class today. It was really good. Oh, come on. I mean it. You should audition for my play. Hmm, what's this all about? Your play? Yeah, I'm writing and directing. Of course you are. What's it about? It's a treat size against intimacy. Treat size? Treat size? I don't know what that means. Unfiltered reaction, keep it civil. Unfiltered reaction. Treat size, a, a treat size, a treat size. A treat size, a treat size against intimacy. What does that even mean? That is exactly what I'm thinking. That love is a sham. <laughs> Didn't we have this argument on the first day of school? If you want to get Yale's attention, this play would look great on your resume. 
I think my resume is in pretty good shape, thanks. Lots of clubs, as you're aware. Yeah, but you do the same 10 clubs as every other overachiever, and Yale will skip right over you. He was right there, she needs to have something a little bit different on there. That's actually a fair point. I make those every once in a while. Ooh, I'll think about it. Should we ask if he has a girlfriend, or should we assume he has a girlfriend? Let's ask. Let's just... Can I ask you a question? I don't want you to read this... I don't want you to read into this the wrong way. Okay, shoot. Do you, um, have a girlfriend? What? No. Why would you think that? Regina told me you did. She was pretty adamant about it. Yeah, definitely do not have a girlfriend. So he has been flirting with me. And I most definitely don't want one. Okay, maybe not. Or not. <laughs> Bergman, order up for Bergman. That's me. Think about the play, yeah? I'll see you Monday. Okay, he doesn't want a girlfriend. Fair enough. How did that go? It, uh, I, ugh. I need to not be distracted by him. Got ya. What do you say we move on to math? A little pie and pie. It's a real shame that the SATs don't have a pun section. So Mika hasn't got a girlfriend, doesn't want one. There goes any chance of that. Oh, back at home. You feel prepared for tomorrow? I'm amped. Kaylee doesn't mess around with quadratic equations. That's what I like to hear. You know, now the SATs are practically over, I'm thinking about doing this play. What do you mean? Like, for my resume, it would look really good. I don't know, Greenwood. Prancing around on a stage was cute when you were a kid. But I'm proud you decided to use your intelligence for something worthwhile. But it could also... Your plan isn't to pursue theatre, honey. There are dozens of activities for far, far better suited to your goals. I really don't like this mum. Really don't like her. I guess so. Plus, that sort of thing kind of brings out your dark side. You remember... It's a play, Mum, and not a pageant. I think, yeah, this Mum is just, like, really pushy, and I just don't like her at all. I don't want, I just don't want anything to throw us off course. She, like, she talks about it, like, throw us off course. It's not us off course, it's Green and Gemsicle off course, not Mum. Go get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow morning's really important. Greenard. Between the election chaos, Regina, my mum and Mika, I could not fall asleep. After hours of tossing and turning, I had just drifted off when... Wow, 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 wow! Who is blasting music? Oh, I thought it was like a car alarm or something. <laughs> like, wow, wow! Who's blasting music right outside my window? Wow, 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 wow! <laughs> Greenard! Mum? Mum? What is going on? What in there? Why are there 300 people in our backyard? Why is there? Greenard, are those your friends? Well, they're people from school. Well, some of them. I'm calling the police. What is going on? Why is this happening? By the time the cops showed up and things got sorted out, it was nearly two in the morning. You realise you were trespassing? I just came for the flash mob. Oh. Flash mob? Yeah, it seemed totally legit. They gave an address, there was a picture of the house, they announced it on Karen Uncensored. I'll bet anything Regina is behind this. I can handle it from here, ladies. Thank you, officer. Damien, let's go already. Oh, look at there. <laughs> Thingy. I've got a name, Janice. Damien? Greenoid? Give me a minute, Mum. I need some fresh air. Suit yourself. I said clear the premises. You kids got bright futures. Don't make me arrest you. I'm trying to get them to leave, but they're connected at the gums. <laughs> it's okay. They're my friends. Please don't arrest them. Fine. I trust you can take it from here. Hey, girl. What are you doing here? Don't you have the SATs tomorrow? You should be sleeping. I was sleeping until a flash mob appeared under my bedroom window. Hold up, this is your house? That explains the PJs. Sup, green-eyed. You telling me Regina just messed with your sleep cycle on SAT Eve? This is war.
That is pretty bad. That's not nice. <laughs> this is delicious. I mean, this is an outrage. And I know just the way we can give Regina a taste of her own medicine. Oh yeah, I know exactly what you're thinking. Let's do it. What do you say, Green-Eyed? Get revenge. I so want to get revenge. We haven't got any gems though, so we are going to go ahead and we are going to pass on Damien's offer. Thanks, Damien, but I don't think I have the energy for that tonight. I need all the sleep I can get. Good luck, Green-Eyed. Break a leg. I'll call you guys tomorrow. Good night. Thanks for having us over. <laughs> oh, that was pretty mean. The next morning, SAT day. Oh, she looks nice today. Wow, you look like you've been up all night. <sighs> She's a right one. <laughs> Take your seats, girls. The test is about to begin. I can barely keep my eyes open, but Regina's plowing through the test like a machine. Done. What? Is she on something? How do you think you did? Miserably, I was running on zero sleep. I'm sure your miserably is still top umpteenth percentile. But you should have seen Regina. She was so fast and was inhuman. She was like some kind of test-taking cyborg. <laughs> Remember what I said? I know, I know, Regina's drama is too addictive as... Well, no time to rest, the blood drives on Monday. I can't believe you orchestrated the whole thing. If all goes as planned, I can still outshine Regina on the volunteer front. But come Monday... Oh no, what's going to happen? Greenoid, thanks for setting this all up. By the way... Oh, here she comes. Regina here has volunteered to help too. Ugh. The more the merrier. Anyone can volunteer, but collecting the most pints? That's how you really stand out. I'd like to set a record today. Love the enthusiasm. You can manage station one over there with me. Okay. She's just relentless, isn't she? Relentless. Perfect. You're like really cute for a nurse. I'm a lobotomy technician. Whatever. <laughs> Green eyed, how about you take station two? Alan there has you covered. Yo. Good luck. But just so you know, I plan on winning. It's a blood drive, not a race. <laughs> oh my goodness. In the saddle, Gretchen, I need you to straddle that stress ball. But we're going for speed here. Oh my goodness. Just send them over. I'll plug them in and do the rest. This is a really long episode. Hey guys, new station open over here. I'm seeing stars. Ah. Oh. So close your eyes. Next. How's it going? Two pints already. You should have seen how fast Alan hooks them in. I got a velvet touch. What? Ugh, Gretchen, you and your tiny veins. Who's talking? Regina, it's not a competition. Isn't it? Game on. If that's how you want to do this, then fine. Fine. There will be blood. Hey guys, line shorter over here if you want to switch. Or oh, come here, this line will get you in and out faster. Which is great if you value speed over sanitation. I can't speak to the other line, but clean needles in this one, guaranteed. Damn girl. What, too far? Move it people, let's keep this going. And today I'm covering the North Shore High School annual blood Karen, either give me your blood or get out of the way. <laughs> Whoa, you're Karen from Karen Uncensored. Hey, I didn't say you could stop. I subscribe to your show. I'm obsessed. Yay! Ooh, it'd be so cool to interview a doctor about the blood drive. Doctor? He's not even a nurse. I can play doctor. Let's find a place that's not so nosy. Noisy, <laughs> yeah? Oh, no, you guys, get back here. So Regina's nurse, or whatever he is, has gone off with Karen. He's just a blah 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 blah, blah, blah something. <laughs> Ugh. What's going to happen now? Guys, the machine is still taking my blood. Who's that? <laughs> Hi, Green Eyed. It was so nice how you were there for me after my breakup with Dane. Of course. So I wanted to donate to your line too, as a token of my thanks. 
wow that's really thoughtful of you Gretchen I'm sure that's not like healthy for you you shouldn't be <laughs> doing it like twice but didn't you already donate it's fine people do it all the time um we should I, I mean I don't know no I don't really think that you should <laughs> I, I think maybe it's not a good idea I insist all right then but can we be quick I don't want Regina to see got it oh she's gonna do it anyway okay fair enough she's gonna have no blood left in her veins where'd Regina go anyway nurse where are you he's with me <laughs> he's in the bathroom with Karen okay you two need to wrap up this interview right now yeah come in here she comes Regina looks mad doesn't she oh here's Mika hey there do you got her hey there play pusher do you you really want to donate I realised I drained the life out of you, so I thought you could return the favour. That's nice of you, Mika. You're on deck. You excited about Elizabethan art exhibit coming up? I am, actually. Cool, because I asked Miss Yang to partner us. You what? Are you angry? N no, I'm surprised. And freaking giddy, reel it in, Gemsicle. I figure if we have to work in pairs, I want my partner to be the p smartest person in class. You in? Um, thank him, yeah. That's pretty flattering. Not meant to be, it's just a fact. I'll choose to be flattered anyway. Count me in. Awesome. Next. Batter up. Okay. I feel like I'm floating. I really don't think she should have done it again. I feel like, I feel like I, do you want to sit? Oh, oh, she's, oh, oh. <laughs> she's gone. Alan! Ow, my chin, I'm bleeding. I don't have any more blood to spare. <laughs> no, she probably doesn't. Ouch, that's got a scar for sure. Scar? Did you say scar? Thanks to you, we have to make up for lost time. Everybody, everyone who donates to this line gets to touch Karen's boobs. <laughs> I'm down with that. Oh, she doesn't mind. Oh my goodness. All the blokes go over there. Oh, and then her as well. <laughs> One at a time, gentlemen. I can handle two. What's she like? Hey Toots, you okay? Running this blood drive was supposed to be the crown jewel of my resume, but now I can't exactly brag about second most pints collected. My Yale dream is hanging by a thread. Here's what we'll do. Everybody, anyone who donates to this line gets to touch greenoids. Nope. Fine, but you're at war with Regina George. If you want to win, you'll have to upgrade your arsenal. Or at least dirty up your fight. How? You're smart. You'll figure something out. With the application deadline coming up, I better. There you go, guys. That completes episode seven. Was it? Yeah, episode seven of Mean Girls Senior Year. The fight with Regina is still as strong as ever. She she plays a good fight. She always seems to got like one extra little step that she goes... She's like, she's mean, and the core of Greener Gemsicle is quite nice, so we need to step up the game, I think, if we are going to beat her into getting this Yale place. But thank you so much for watching this episode. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys next week for episode 8. Thanks for watching. Bye!